Hey guys, welcome to our lesson every day, and today I'm going to teach you how to build a square shelf. Now, this is a pretty awesome project. It takes a little bit of work. It's not that hard. The hardest part is just getting everything to square up, uh, but it's a lot of fun, and I recommend you to try it out if you like it. Without further ado, let's jump into the build. Hey guys, welcome to another build. So this is what it's gonna look like, this front the sides. Uh, it's basically just three boxes. The one in the middle is gonna be actually from a six inch boards, and then the two on the sides are gonna be from four inch boards. It's gonna give it just some good contrast, or you just make them all the same. Now every single side is gonna be a 16 inches long. The two short sides on the squares on the sides are actually cut to 10 inches. Now these are the measurements that I use. You can use whatever you like or whatever size that you want it to be on the wall. Now this is a very simple build. All you have to do is cut your pieces to length and then start building it. Now this is very repetitive, all you're going to do is build a cube three times. The first time you're going to build it is your main cube in the middle. Um, I do recommend for just the sake of uh, how it's going to look to have all of your holes and fasteners on the top and bottom. That way you won't be able to see it once it's hanging. After you make your cuts, make sure you send down any sharp edges that you have or any splinters that came out of your cuts. So when we begin to assemble, we're gonna assemble the main square in the middle first. Now to do this, the process is apply some glue, put a brand nail in the middle to hold everything together, drill your pilot holes and countersink every fastener. Now I recommend a, either an inch and a half or two inches for every screw since this will be so a little bit of load bearing shelves and it, it just helps better for it to be sturdy and straight now the main point here is make everything straight it is easier said than done now you can use either a speed square or any edge to help you out but make sure as you go you always keep everything straight After you're done with your main square, we're gonna start doing one of the side squares. Now to do this, remember you're just gonna make a long part with another long part and then your two 10 inches on each side, which are gonna be your shorter sides. Now this should give you a gap, which then later you're gonna attach to the main square and pretty much that's the whole process and repeat. So again, make sure you drill your pilot holes, countersink, 
and get everything squared up. After you've done your first square from the side, I do recommend to put it and lay it down next to the main square and actually go ahead and attach it. Now this is the same process you did for every side. Make sure you put some glue. You can put a brand nail just to hold it. Put your pilot holes and countersink and make sure that it's all nice and square. Then we move on to the last square. Again, this is the same process. I would recommend you to start with your both long sides. Then you put your short ends at the each end. And don't forget, drill your pilot holes, counter sink. There you go guys, I hope you enjoy this build. This is a pretty big build um, and it's awesome and easy. The hardest part as I mentioned before is getting everything straightened up. But once you get it done, it turns out very nice and it looks awesome on the wall and it's a great shelf, three partition shelf and it just adds a great touch to the wall. Now, if you like this project, let me know down in the comments how that yours turn out. Now, if you wanna share with family member or friend, I recommend you to do so. It's a great weekend project and easy to build. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.
Give it a thumbs up. Let me know that in the comments how it turned out. And I'll see you on the next build.